So last time we read the stories Julian tells. Well, today we're going to read the next book in the series, which is called More Stories Julian Tells by Anne Cameron. Let's take a look at the, the back blurb. Julian is back with more great tales to tell. There's the one about the day so hot that even frogs wore shoes, or the time his best friend Gloria made the sun move. Sometimes, though, Julian's way with words can backfire. That's what happens when Julian calls his kid brother Huey a name, and their father overhears. How can a few little words get Julian into such big trouble? Hmm, well, let's see. The first chapter is called A Day When Frogs Wear Shoes. My little brother Huey, my best friend Gloria, and I were sitting on our front steps. It was one of those hot summer days when everything stands still. We didn't know what to do. We were watching the grass grow. It didn't grow fast. You know something, Gloria said? This is a slow day. It's so slow the dogs don't bark, Huey said. It's so slow the flies don't fly, Gloria said. It's so slow, ice cream wouldn't melt, I said. If we had any ice cream, Huey said. But we don't, Gloria said. We watched the grass some more. We better do something, I said. Like what, Gloria asked. We could go visit Dad, Huey said. That's a terrible idea, I said. Why, Huey asked. I like visiting Dad. My father had a shop about a mile from our house where he fixes cars. Usually it is fun to visit him. If he has customers, he always introduces us as if we were important guests. If he doesn't have company, sometimes he lets us ride in the cars he puts up on the lift. Sometimes he buys us treats. Huey, I said, usually visiting dad is a good idea. Today, it's a dangerous idea. Why, Gloria said. Because we're bored, I said. My dad hates it when people are bored. He says the world is so interesting, nobody should ever be bored. I see, Gloria said, as if she didn't. So we'll go and see him, Huey said, and we just won't tell him we're bored. We're bored, but we won't tell him. Just so you remember that, I said. Oh, I'll remember, Huey said. Huey was wearing his angel look. When he had that look, you know he'll never remember anything. Huey and I put on sweatbands. Gloria put on dark glasses. We started out. The sun shined up at us from the sidewalks. Even the shadows on the street were hot as blankets. Huey picked up a stick and scratched it along the sidewalk. Oh, we're bored, he muttered. Bored, 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 bored. Huey, I yelled. I wasn't bored anymore. I was nervous. Finally, we reached a sign. Ralph's Car Hospital. Punctures, rust, dents and bashes, bad breaks, bad breaks, unusual complaints. That's my dad's sign. My dad is Ralph. The parking lot had three cars in it. Dad was inside the shop, lifting the hood of another car. He didn't have any customers with him, so we didn't get to shake hands and feel like visiting mayors or congressmen. Hi, Dad, I said. Hi, my, my dad said. Where, Huey said, I didn't trust Huey. I stepped on his foot. We're on a hike, I said. Well, nice of you to stop by, my father said. If you want, you can stay a while and help me. Okay, we said. So Huey sorted nuts and bolts. Gloria shined fenders with a rag. I held the new windshield wiper while my dad put it on a car window. Nice work, Huey and Julian and Gloria, my dad said when we were done. And then he sent us to the store across the street to buy paper cups and ice cubes and a can of frozen lemonade. We mixed the lemonade in the shop. 
Then we went out under the one tree by the side of the driveway and drank all of it. Good lemonade, my father said. So what are you kids going to do now? Oh, hike, I said. You know, my father answered, I'm surprised at you kids picking a hot day like today for a hike. The ground is so hot. On a day like this, frogs wear shoes. They do? Huey said. Especially if they go hiking, my father said. Of course, a lot of frogs on a day like this would stay home. So I wonder why you kids are hiking. Sometimes my father notices too much. Then he gets yellow lights shining in his eyes, asking you to tell the whole truth. That's when I know to look at my feet. Oh, I said, we like hiking. But Gloria didn't know any better. She looked into my father's eyes. Really, she said, this wasn't a real hike. We came to see you. Oh, I see, my father said, looking pleased. Because we're bored, Huey said. My father jumped up so fast he tipped over his lemonade cup. Bored? My father yelled, you were bored? He picked up his cup and waved it in the air. And you think I don't get bored? My father roared, sprinkling out the last drops of lemonade from his cup. You think I don't get bored fixing cars when it's hot enough that frogs wear shoes? This is such an interesting world that nobody should ever be bored. That's what you said, I reminded him. Last week, Huey added. Um, my father said he got quiet. He rubbed his hand over his mouth the way he does when he's thinking. Why, of course, my father said, I remember that. And it's the perfect, absolute truth. People absolutely should not get bored. However, he paused. It just happens that sometimes they do. My father rubbed a line in the dirt with his shoe. He was thinking so hard I could see his thoughts standing by the tree and sitting on all the fenders of the cars. You know, if you three would kindly help me some more, I could leave a half hour early and we could drive down by the river. We'll help, I said. Yes, and then we can look for frogs, Huey said. So we stayed. We learned how to make a signal light blink. And afterward, on the way to the river, my dad bought us all ice cream cones. The ice cream did melt. Huey's melted all down the front of his shirt. It took him 10 paper napkins and the river to clean up. After Huey's shirt was clean, we took our shoes and socks off and went wading. We looked for special rocks under the water, the ones that are beautiful until you take them out of the water when they get dry and not so bright. We found skipping stones and tried to see who could get the most skips from a stone. We saw a school of minnows going as fast as they could to get away from us, but we didn't see any frogs. If you want to see frogs, my father said, you'll have to walk down the bank a ways and look hard. So we decided to do that. Fine, my father said, but I'll still, I'll stay here. I think I'm ready for a little nap. Naps are boring, we said. Sometimes it's nice to be bored, my father said. We left him with his eyes closed, sitting under a tree. Huey saw the first frog. He almost stepped on it. It jumped into the water and we ran after it. Huey caught it and picked it up and then I saw another one, I grabbed it. It was slippery and strong and its body was cold, just like it wasn't the middle of summer. Then Gloria caught one too. The frogs wiggled in our hands and we felt their hearts beating. Huey looked at their funny webbed feet. Their feet are good for swimming, he said, but dad is wrong, they don't wear shoes. No way, Gloria said, they sure don't wear shoes. Let's go tell him, I said. We threw our frogs back into the river. They made little trails swimming away from us. And then we went back to my father. Okay. 
He was sitting under the tree with his eyes shut. He looked like he hadn't moved an inch. We found frogs, Huey said, and we've got news for you. They don't wear shoes. My father's eyes opened. They don't, he said. Well, I can't be right about everything. Dry your feet, put your shoes on, it's time to go. We all sat down to put on our shoes. I pulled out a sock and put it on. I stuck my foot into my shoe. My foot wouldn't go in. I picked up the shoe and looked inside. Oh no, I yelled. There were two little eyes inside my shoe looking out at me. Huey and Gloria grabbed their socks. All our, fro all our shoes had frogs in them. Every one. What did I tell you? My father said. You were right, we said. It's a day when frogs wear shoes.